Hi guys, welcome back to Digi Reviews. Today we're going to look at the uh, G910 Orion Spectrum from Logitech. This is a gaming keyboard that uh, can also sync with other Logitech peripherals. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the features of the keyboard and I'm also going to talk you through the software a little bit and also the Arcs app that you can use on your mobile phone. Um, so uh, please keep watching. Uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments in the section below. And also uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Cheers guys. So this is the software, we're currently on the home page, the same key down here, uh, and basically what this shows you is an overview of the different uh, settings which you can change uh, on your keyboard. Um, so we'll go to this G key here, uh, pretty self-explanatory, this uh, is relating to G1 to G9 which are your macro keys, and also this, so this lets you set your, your macro keys to whatever you want them, and then you also have uh, memory profiles at the top here, so you can choose between different profiles which will have different keys relating to them in the macros. Also, your profile section up here shows you you can have different games, so you can set a certain macro set for a particular game, and then when you're using that game, if you want those keys to be active for that game, you select that profile, and then you'll have your setup for that particular game. Then we go over to this key. This basically shows you what you can do with the lock key. So you can, this at the moment set to lock the Windows keys out. So you can change this to lock different keys out depending on how you want that set up. The next bit is the light in system. So if we go to the first one, we've got fixed color, self explanatory, choose a color, and it stays like that. We've got breathing. Uh, again, choose a color that you like, and then it will breathe in and out of that, changing the speed. The star effect, uh, as you can see on the screen. Um, basically, there's a little star effect so it flashes different keys at random intervals. Uh, you can change the amount of stars, colour of the stars and the sky colour and also the uh, speed at which that runs. Um, then we go down to colour cycle. Uh, this will basically just cycle every single key through all the different colours. Uh, colour wave, uh, which is a standard one that a lot of people use. So this is set up for the moment to centre out so it will colour wave out from the middle. Uh, you can also go uh, horizontal so it goes across, or you can go vertical so it comes down, and again you can change the speed. Uh, then we go to key press, uh, again set your colour, and then this basically highlights the keys that you've pressed, and that can be set back around as well, and the speed. Uh, you've also got lighting effects down here, so you can have custom lighting effects to do certain things, so you can have different settings, you can have different colours light up, different, uh, different keys light up different colours, so like your W, A, S and D, you can light them up separately, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we go to this one which is just a heat map um, so as you can see it's already got information in there but if I just tap a few keys while I'm playing with this and then press stop as you can see now it records um, which keys are pressed the most uh, if that's of any interest to anyone. So that's the software so now I'm going to get on and show you the Arc Stock system uh, on the mobile phone. So this is the Arc app uh, for the Logitech software. Uh, this basically shows you the different things you can do on the Arc app. Uh, so the front page is your profile, so you can select the profile on the fly. And uh, the next one, if we go down here, we can see is PC stats. So you can actually see how your CPU is running, temperatures that it's running at, and what all the cores are doing. It also shows you your GPU, uh, what temperature that's running at, and all the usage uh, stats for that. And it also shows you RAM at the bottom to see what you're doing. Uh, and we go uh, basically along, we can set mouse stuff, if you've got a Logitech mouse, which I have, so you can change your DPI on the fly, which is pretty handy in some games. Uh, then we've got media key at the bottom, that's just for controlling media, as you would expect, so basically what you can do on the keyboard. Um, and then we go across and we can also go onto the G keys. So this will sh uh, basically show you what your uh, G keys are set up at the, at the moment. Um, so this one's showing the mouse, uh, and then if we go across, we've got a uh, headset, and go back across, and then we've also got uh, the G keys on your keyboard, so this shows you what you can do there, so that's something you can change uh, on the fly as well, and you can change your profile there.
Right, there we have the G910 uh, Orion from Logitech. Uh, this is my personal keyboard, so this is one I've been using for quite some time now. Uh, over a year I've been using this, and I have to say I absolutely love this. Uh, I also have the mouse and the headset that goes with it, uh, so I've got a nice uh, full setup of Logitech stuff, so I can sort out all the different lighting effects between uh, all my different uh, peripherals. Uh, now, there is uh, a few uh, downsides with this. Uh, one, uh, some people don't really seem to like the Roma G keys that this uses. I personally find them absolutely brilliant to use. I can't complain about them at all. They are quite loud, however, uh, and I have previously used a Corsair uh, Strafe, and I've also used a Cherry MX 1.0 that I've shown in one of my other videos. Um, but this one, uh, for me, they work brilliantly. Uh, I also like all the lighting effects you can choose. It's not quite as customizable as the Corsair stuff, um, which it could customize quite a lot more, um, but still has quite a lot of features there for customization. Most people will just go with the Spectrum Wave, um, so it tends to be what most people do. Um, I, have, I normally have it set that, to be honest. Um, another thing that's probably could do with is a pass through. It doesn't have a pass through at all, so you can't plug your mouse into it. You have to use a separate. Uh, USBs on your PC, so if you're running out of USBs, it's not ideal. Um, that is something that may, most of the ones seem to have. Uh, of course, they definitely have them with their stuff. Um, other than that, not really much else to say about it. A great ga gaming keyboard if you if you're in the market for one. Um, keys are brilliant. Uh, the only other thing maybe is the wrist rest. Not very big, so to be honest with you, my wrist doesn't even rest on it, which is why I've got a separate. Wrist, uh, foam wrist rest that I rest my uh, hand on because it does kind of hurt sometimes um, but other than that absolutely great keyboard um, so thanks again guys for watching this I hope you find it interesting I hope it's uh, something that helps you decide on whether to get one of these keyboards and um, they do vary in price quite a lot so I can't really comment on the price at the moment but I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get one uh, so thanks for watching guys so don't forget to subscribe cheers